Hey guys, so today I will be showing you my August favorites. I realize that this is like slightly late by a few days. It's like almost halfway into the month, but that's okay. I still wanted to do my favorites and show you guys everything that I've been using. So this isn't like stuff that I just stopped using at the end of August and then like I'm totally done with it. I'm still using this stuff and I still really love this stuff, so that's why I figured I would film this. So we're gonna go ahead and get started. I'm gonna start with palettes this time because I love my palettes and this one in particular is one that I feel like I have picked up quite a lot. It is the Superhero Eye Transforming Anti-Aging Super Palette from It Cosmetics. So this one is one of their newest additions. The reason why I like this palette so much is because of all of the beautiful, different, shimmery, colorful eyeshadows that are in here. The only thing I wish this had was more crease shades in it that are matte that I could work with first before I go in with all these beautiful shades. Um, but besides that, I really do like playing with this palette. It's just really fun to create different looks with it. Kat Von D Shade and Light Palette. I'm still using it, guys. I'm still loving it. Um, the shades that I say I'd use the most are these three right here. LA Girl, they're the Pro Concealers, the HD High Definition ones, and I have it in Almond and Natural. I really would recommend them to you just because they are so cheap. I use a Beauty Blender sponge like this one from Real Techniques, the orange one by the way. This one's my favorite. Um, to blend it out and it just works so well, like especially if you're wearing foundation it just blends in really nicely to that so these are the two shades then I also have these which are new and you guys probably have not seen yet they are launching September 25th I believe from it cosmetics they are the bye bye under eye illumination full coverage anti-aging waterproof concealers the shade light that I got that one was way too light I mean that's for like porcelain skin so I couldn't even use that one I actually use medium as my concealer shade and then I wanted to show you guys tan because this is more of like a beige version of medium sometimes I mix these two together under my eyes um, or I'll just use one or the other depending on how tan I am but I wanted to show you how light they are so be careful when you are getting these to make sure you go like down a shade or two but they're beautiful and I just love how like bright and light it makes my under eyes look okay it's time for powders I wanted to show you guys all of these okay for highlighters my favorite has been the Ofra highlighter in Rodeo Drive if you have medium to lighter toned skin you're gonna freaking love this it's just perfectly light enough and then this is how it looks on my hand so you can see it transfers nicely but very softly you know like it's not too intense definitely something that you can wear on an everyday basis which is what I like to do I'll just like pop it on my cheekbones um, or you can lay it on a little thicker if you're doing a more dramatic look but either way it just gives the skin such a beautiful like soft golden glow so I don't know if you guys have tried these but they are new from CoverGirl and I really don't use many CoverGirl products I won't lie um, I don't know why just, I never really picked them up from the drugstore. There's like other brands that I usually gravitate towards, but I saw these and they looked like they would be nice, so I decided to give them a try. The first one is the blush, and this is in the shade medium rose, and then this is their bronzer, and it is in the shade 200. I ripped it off, so I'm not sure. What I will do is actually go in with my like concealer first. And then I will use like my Kat Von D Shade and Light Palette. And then I'll just use this last. So it just helps to blend everything in together. And then the blush I am so in love with because the shade is like absolutely gorgeous. It's pink and purple mixed together. So if you want to skip out on the highlight and just use this, it's going to look really pretty. For foundations, my go-to most favorite has been this one from Makeup Forever. It is their Ultra HD Foundation in number 123. This is like my most reliable one. I actually like this new formula better because it's lighter and I feel like it um, is easier to blend into the skin. And even though, you know, you may need a few more layers to get that like super full coverage, I like that it feels really light and like I have nothing on. This is the Anastasia Dip 
brow pomade. I have mine in dark brown. I forgot how much I like this. I was using like the Benefit products for my eyebrows for so long um, that I just kind of like shunned this one away and then I started using it again uh, last month and realizing how much I loved it and I don't know why I stopped using it. I feel like I'm getting a really like dark precise line with it like especially if you use an angle brush that just comes to a nice point and it's not like the bristles are super loose like if they're really tightly compacted together you pick this up and then if you have like parts of your eyebrows that don't have a lot of hairs then this is gonna work so good for you because it just gives that nice perfect precise dark line and it fills in those areas that don't have hair so nicely to the point where it actually looks like I have hair there. This is the Tarte Tardiest Mascara. This is the one I've been using the most because the formula of it is so black. So I haven't really been doing like just mascara. Like I, I always like to put falsies on. Um, so when I do that, I like my natural lashes to blend in with the falsies, and the falsies that I use are usually like more on the darker side. So this is one of the only mascaras that actually matches the dark blackness of the falsies. I would definitely recommend it for you guys if you're looking for something that's long lasting, doesn't smear. I actually started gravitating towards these. They're new, they're from Smashbox. They are called Always On Liquid Lipsticks. Um, the one I'm actually wearing today is called Chill Zone and then I put Soft Spoken NYX Liquid Suede Cream Lipstick over top of it so it's kind of like a purpley gray type of color. really like for reds this one and it is in uh, Misconduct from Smashbox. Actually I'm just gonna go ahead and swatch all of these for you guys. So there's Misconduct, the gray one that I'm wearing the formula of these is very matte, dries very quickly. Um, this one is called Stepping Out. This is my favorite out of all of them. It's like a nude. Then I also like this one for orangey shades. It's called Out Loud. I know I have like a lot of favorites, but they're just really good. They're just really pigmented, and I love how they feel on my lips. You know, it doesn't. It's not drying. It doesn't peel. It doesn't flake, and I feel like they're pretty long lasting as well. This pink one is called Dream Huge. And then, yeah, I have one more. <laughs> this is called Driver's Seat. I pretty much like the entire collection. <laughs> I just think they are so amazing. And the colors that they have are great and very on trend for now, you know, like in this moment. Like the, f the shades are perfect for fall. So from Ofra Cosmetics, I really like Pasadena Liquid Lipstick right there this one's been a really good everyday shade for me so that is it for my favorites hopefully you guys like this video if you did please give it a thumbs up don't forget to leave me a comment down below and let me know what your august favorites were and i will see you guys in my next video love you bye